Being true to myself for me means owning my identities completely and unapologetically. It means not letting anyone else define or limit me. It means being vocal about my experiences as a young, non-binary and asexual person. It means taking a stand for equality and not letting anyone stand in my way. It means using my platform to raise awareness, to fight for those who can't, to be a voice for an underrepresented community, to make a change like the activists who paved the way before me. I'm proud to partner with Nike for their Be True campaign to promote the message of authenticity and perseverance. All shoes in this line promote the LGBTQ pride flag originally designed by activist Gilbert Baker in 1978. Click the links in the description down below to learn more about these Air Max 720s and Tangent Sandals from Nike's Be True line. I will be donating 10% of my earnings from this partnership to local LGBTQ grassroots organizations here in Virginia. Thank you so much to Nike for sponsoring this video. The information for both of these shoes will be down below. Thank you so much, Nike, for sponsoring this video. I will be donating a portion of what I have received to advertise for these shoes to local LGBTQ grassroots organizations here in Virginia. So if you want to support that, I will put those links down below. And yeah, let's get on to the video. Hello everyone, Chandler here. And today is National Best Friend Day, so you just told me. So I'm here with my best friend, <laughs> which is my mom. And what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be doing a little Q&A where we answer the questions that you all put on my Instagram post about my transition, how you've reacted to my transition, and just our general, like, journey over the past six years since I came out to you. Four, five, maybe, because I came out when I was 16, and I'm turning 21 this year. But the reason that I had the idea to do this video was because uh, you said something very funny to me a couple months ago, maybe. You said to me that every once in a while you look over at me and you're like, huh, so that's what I'd look like if I were a boy, <laughs> which I thought was hilarious. But also you said something else interesting to me, where you said to me, I'm not gonna lie, it did weird me out a little at first when I started noticing changes when you were transitioning. Which I thought was very interesting, and I really liked that you told me that, because to me, that showed me that like we really are on this journey together, but that showed a lot of respect for me, because you were essentially saying, I didn't tell you this before, because I know that it was something really important to you when you first started transitioning, that you understood that it's about what makes me feel comfortable, because this is my life journey that I have to go on, and that you respected how I felt, you respected my needs and what would make me happier. I just wanted to answer some questions, talk about our little journey over the past five years, just to to get Mama's perspective. <laughs> so the first question comes from M underscore York 05, and it says, what was the pronoun transition like for both of you? These types of questions always crack me up because I feel like my answer always surprises people when I say that the same way that other people have to get used to a new name and pronouns, I also have to get used to a new name pro and pronouns. I think I did okay, but I have mm -hmm. to say, if if someone that doesn't know, or someone will refer to you as her, then I'll find in my response, I'll refer to you as her <laughs> without even thinking about it. And then later I'll be like, oh, wait a minute. If I refer to you as they or them, then sometimes people will look at me, oh, they're twins? That's so know. funny. <laughs> I love that. So the next question that we have here is from IzzyXX975, who asks, how could I come out to my parents? How did you feel when Chandler came out to you? Do you feel that the way that I came out to you was a good way, just sitting on the couch and talking? I, I feel like you did it kind of like in an educational way. Okay. Not as a just confrontational like a, way. Okay. More like, hey, this is how I am. Do you know what this is? Mm -hmm. So I can just say, do it that way. Mm -hmm. Do it from an educational perspective, especially if you don't know what your parents know. Mm -hmm. Or maybe even how they'll react. Right. Yeah. Yes. What was going through your head when I came out to you? Did we talk about this? We also did a Q&A of one year after I came out to her, where we answered some of the questions about like, what were your biggest concerns with me coming out? I did not know what agender was. Uh -huh. And you told me what agender was mm -hmm. and explained how you were feeling. And it's kind of like, okay, 
Okay. Did you ever wonder, how do you feel that way? How does that make any sense? How do you not feel like you have a gender? I mean, in a way, just because we discussed this before, how if you don't ever question how you are, you, mm -hmm. you're just how you are, mm -hmm. you know. For someone to question it, it's kind of like, wow. Mm -hmm. It does give you a whole different life perspective. So the next question comes from <laughs> useless underscore trash can, which you're not. <laughs> Change your name right now. And they ask, what has been your favorite part of this journey? I feel like we have become so much closer because I feel like when I was a kid, I was too scared and shy to share anything with you. And now I feel like I could trust you with anything going on in my life and been able to open up to you more. So I feel like you're my best friend. Which is so appropriate for the day. <laughs> I forgot the question. <laughs> what was it? Useless underscore trash can asks, what has been your favorite part of this journey? Seeing you grow and be happy. More, I guess, into who you are, into who you're becoming. Oh, nice. This next question is from Yasmin Palm Trees, who asks, what have been some struggles that you have had to face due to transitioning, both of you? Uh, I guess maybe hearing people make comments mm. when they don't know I have a trans kid. Really? What do they say? Um, that they don't know if they could love their family if they were trans. Like if, and, like the parent doesn't know if they could love their kid if their kid was the trans? Gr or their grandkid. Oh, okay. And oh. I'm like, wow, that's pretty heavy because you're the same person on the inside. You know, I think it, as a person, mm -hmm. forces you to look beyond yourself and to be deeper than maybe you thought you were. <laughs> <laughs> there's, I feel like there's a lot of self-growth and consideration is, in oh, every yeah. situation. Yes, I think you picture the struggles that they're going to have. Mm -hmm. Because you always picture your kid just being happy mm -hmm. and going through life, and then you think, man, the struggles. Mm -hmm. uh, the next question is from underscore period Haley period Bentman period underscore asks, uh, did she face any homophobia or transphobia when changing the way she talked about you to her friends slash coworkers? And if so, how did she go about handling it? I will refer to you as they or them. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, like I said before, I will be asked, oh, you have twins? One of the people that I was talking to when I was referring to you like that, and they uh -huh. said, oh, you have twins? And I said, no, that's the pronouns that they use. Uh -huh. And they just kind of gave me a look. And it made me kind of sad because they're a retired school teacher. So... Oof. Helping kids' development and... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So what? What did? They, how did they look at you? What they do? Just kind of. Mm, you have one of those kids. Huh? Oh, one of those. Yeah. Oh those. no. Yeah. Well, good thing they're retired, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the next question is by Ray Kylie Kylie, who asks for mum, how did you explain to other family and friends that already knew Chandler by their birth name that they were trans? It's been so long, I really don't remember. Okay. Uh, but one of my favorite stories is to a school mom that called me and started talking about like Jazz Jennings and how they watch the show and they love them. And I'm like, okay, that's nice. Uh -huh. And I'm not saying anything. And finally they're like, look, <laughs> I know about Chandler. <laughs> and they're I love like, you and I love them. And I'm like, oh, okay. They're, they're like trying to give you the, <laughs> yeah. subtly saying, I would be supportive. They're yeah. like, I'm really supportive of trans people. Is there something you want to tell me? <laughs> I That's wasn't so going funny. there. <laughs> That's so funny. Honestly, I've had lots of support. I read something one time that I thought was awesome. It's, it was kind of along the lines of, don't try to make yourself someone that people will like. Be yourself so that the right people will love you. I value that a lot because... I feel like that shows that you have a deep respect for people finding peace in their own self, finding happiness, um, and that at the end of the day we understand that that's really one of just the main goals of life, is just to find peace in it. Yes. And so understanding that that can look different for everyone. Right. Um, Everyone's different. If we were all the same it would be boring. It would be boring. So the next question um, is from Dandelion Transmissions who asks, 
I have a question for your mom. Is there something that Chandler did that helped you feel more comfortable in understanding slash supporting them? What can a trans kid do to help their guardian feel more comfortable with their identity and transition? Yeah, I think we kind of... You said earlier that just like coming from an educational perspective, mm -hmm. is there anything else that you think might have helped? Do it out of love. I think you're one of the nicest and most loving people I know. <laughs> That's and, so cute. <laughs> like, you don't care that people misgender you mm. because I think you you understand where they're coming from. Mm. And if they've not really dealt with trans people mm. or don't really know a lot about it, mm. you know, what you gonna do? It comes with educating and being educated. And I think that's what's important to you is educating people, but doing it out of love. In my eyes, intention is everything. I can yes. tell when people are trying to hurt me. Right. And I can tell when people are just misguided. I can tell when people just haven't been made aware of something right. before. Just coming at it from mutual kindness of, like, we both care about each other's happiness, but it's just gonna take us some time to understand what that looks like for each other. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I will have all my other social medias down below in the description. Also, again, huge thank you to Nike for sponsoring this video. Um, the links to the 720s and the slides will be down below, and I will uh, see you all very soon. Happy Pride Month. Bye! Alright, we're done. We're done, we're done, we're done. <laughs>